Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the video that's circulating about street harassment of women by men. There are a lot of things that I want to talk about about this video, but I'm going to focus on two particular ideas. The first idea is the idea of what people are responsible for and what people are not responsible for. And the second is the idea of self-fulfilling prophecy, how believing something can make it likely to come true. My belief about personal responsibility is that I think that people are responsible for their words and actions, their choices, but I don't think that they're responsible for the feelings or emotional reactions of other people. So how this relates to the topic of street harassment? There are several different angles. One of them is that I often hear men say things like, uh, especially on the internet, I heard comments on the video that were like, oh, well when I see a woman dressed like that or moving her body like that, I can't help but comment on her or something like that. And I really disagree with that because I think that that kind of comment is saying that the woman is responsible for the man's actions. And I think there's a self-fulfilling prophecy in there. Like if a man believes that he lacks self-control, then that will cause him to act in a way consistent with the idea that he doesn't have self-control. Like if you believe that the only thing you can possibly do when you see this woman is to, to comment on her in a certain way, then that's going to cause you to be more likely to actually do that. There's another way in which the dialogue here, I think, is sometimes clouding this idea of responsibility, and that's how women are talking about this issue. I hear women say things like, all these men's comments are making me uncomfortable, like it makes me uncomfortable when men say things to me on the street. And I understand how women could feel uncomfortable here, but I think that saying it like that is clouding the idea of responsibility in a similar way, because it's saying that the men are responsible for how the women feel, like that the men are directly causing how the women feel. And I don't think that's necessarily true. Last night I had a conversation with some people about this video and about the topic of street harassment, and I found it interesting that one of the women present said that when any man makes a comment towards her on the street, like an unsolicited comment, even if it's something like just hello or good morning, she feels really uncomfortable. The other woman there said that she feels completely comfortable with that, she often likes that, and furthermore that even some comments about her appearance, like saying, oh you look pretty today, or things like that, that she actually appreciates and likes those comments. So the same comment could have a profoundly different emotional reaction that it leads to in two different people. And I think that what causes the emotional reaction is not the comment itself, but how the person processes it. Their thoughts, their beliefs, their cultural context, all that is influenced by their life experiences, by what they've been taught by others. And I think that's what causes the emotional reaction. And I think saying that the men's comments are the direct cause is also, it's kind of blurring the line in a similar way to how the men say that they lack self-control. Now how does this second idea relate to self-fulfilling prophecy? I think there's a danger that I see in the dialogue concerning street harassment, which is that a lot of the discussion I see seems to be cultivating fear. Like I see a lot of women talking about how afraid they are in response to these comments in ways that to me seems really out of proportion. Now I want to make clear, I understand that there are legitimate reasons that women feel uncomfortable. Like a lot of women that I know have confided in me uh, about experiences they've had that are just horrible, things that go way beyond what is shown in that video of people like stalking them, harassing them, threatening them, all sorts of things. There are instances of like sexual assault, really bad things. So I understand why people have these really uncomfortable emotional reactions to some of these comments. At the same time, I don't think it is necessarily a good thing to have these really uncomfortable reactions. I don't think it's necessarily necessary, and I'm not convinced that it makes women any safer to respond in that way. And I think that if you believe that 
these comments inherently make you uncomfortable, then that will become a self-fulfilling prophecy, and you will feel uncomfortable. Just like that man will feel like a lack of self-control and then act consistently with it. I think that if we're going to tackle the issue of street harassment, we ultimately need to change the culture, which involves changing people's beliefs. I'm not telling women to not be cautious, I'm just saying that I think it would be v valuable to be a little bit wary of the potential to create fear by how you talk about things. I think it's not necessary to react to all comments by feeling afraid, and I don't think that necessarily makes you safer. It can be bad for your health, bad for your mental state, and it might even sort of make you feel so agitated that you're kind of losing some of your street smarts in the moment. Like, I know when I'm out in the street, if I start to feel nervous, that's not a good thing. Um, I've actually been harassed by people on the street, too, and I've noticed that it's most likely to happen to me when I'm feeling afraid, when I'm feeling really nervous. When I'm really comfortable in my surroundings, people tend to treat me with more respect. And that's why I think that this dialogue is potentially dangerous, the narrative about uh, these comments causing women to feel nervous or bad. I think the real cause of it is the whole cultural context, and I think that's something that I'd really like us to, to change. I really want to envision a world where people can feel comfortable and people interact with each other respectfully, regardless of gender. I'd love for you to uh, challenge some of my ideas if you don't agree with everything I've said, or if you agree with it and you want to say, hey, yeah, uh, I like that. Please share comments, and if you like what I have to say overall, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.